हरे कृष्णा our mind often has hellish desires come up within us and those hellish desires are such that they can wreck and ruin our lives so hell is not just a geographical area it is also a psychological state bhagavad gita tells that there are three gates to hell in 16.21 it says trividham narkasyedam द्वारम नाशन आत्मन काम क्रोधस्त लोभस्त स्मादे तत्रयम त्यजेत इन 16.21 इट स्टेज दैट देर आर थ्री गेट्स टू हेल्थ इज अ लास्ट एंगर एंड ग्रीड देन व्हाट दिस मींस इज आल्सो दैट व्हेन वी रिपीटेडली एंटरटेन एंड इंडल्ज इन लस्टी डिजायर्स ग्रीडी डिजायर्स एंग्री angry desire angry actions i mean indulge in lust anger greed the result of this is that they become stronger and stronger so our mind pops up these drives and we give in to them and often even if we don't act on them actually our mind becomes like hell you know we desire uh, destruction on others we desire exploitation of others we desire dark despicable things given into lust anger and greed so now uh, how uh, if we keep giving into those desires just like somebody can get trapped in hell and not come out so similarly something similar can happen to us when we repeatedly entertain such thoughts one day we will engage in a terrible action and once we engage in the terrible action that might be the path of no return that might be the path to destruction we might be trapped for life in fact when people get addicted often what happens is they have entered into a dungeon from which they can't come out and when we recognize how dangerous this is that the thought is the ancestor to the deed what the mind proposes initially it imposes eventually and therefore it's best that we recognize its proposals initially itself so krishna says that the mind if it is not controlled it can be our worst enemy bandhuratma atmanastasya yenaatmai vaatmana ajitah anaatmanastu shatrutve vartet aatmai va shatruvat so if we don't control our mind it remains our enemy and just as the enemy wants to cause us great suffering the mind creates hellish desires within us then makes us do hellish actions and then binds us to those hellish behaviors and thus sends us to hell so knowing that the mind is so dangerous what we can do is guard ourselves vigilantly that what can begin as a casual indulgence can become a uh, catastrophic disaster eventually and by knowing uh, that what we think about we will ev- we can eventually do we can try to guard our thoughts of course the best way to guard our thoughts is not focusing on what we shouldn't think about but by focusing on what is truly worthwhile to think about if we turn towards spirituality turn towards the supreme lord krishna and focus on him then thinking about him contemplating on him can enable us to move forward in our journey toward krishna and that can transform our mind from our enemy to our friend then as our mind becomes attached to krishna then we won't go to hell with the mind but we will go to krishna with the mind and ultimately we will go to krishna to his abode to never return to this world of distress and death thank you hare krishna